Hey guys, Brian TFT, and today we're going to be going over the top five best compositions of this new patch, um, mid patch of uh, 3.5. So let's go into it. This is the top five tier list. None of these comps are better than the other. They can beat each other depending on itemization, positioning, and so forth and so forth. This is just a basic guide of telling like some broad positioning and the comp, why it's good, and what to do. So let's go into it. So first, we're going to go into Protect the Mythic. This comp is obviously Javan, Reckoning, Zin Zhao, Cassiopeia, Karma, Soroka, Lulu, and the new Urgot. So let's go over why this comp is really, really good. Now, the reason it's really strong is because it's got the healing, 50% healing, the you know 125% magic resistance, which is really, really good because obviously a lot of people are playing Janna um, to swap things out, which is just tanks it and then obviously we have got the protector for the the shield why this is good is because you're like essentially your main carriers are all protectors and they're gonna have a lot of magic resistance so they're gonna live forever while ergot is essentially gonna be sniping the tanks out so that you just he's just gonna absolutely destroy everyone in sight the items you want to have um mainly for zinzao is titans Obviously, the Dragon's Claw and Bumble Vest. Um, Reckonin, you don't really need these items um, for, but obviously, the Magic Book helps a lot, and obviously, the uh, Spear also helps a lot out too. Um, and then, obviously, the um, Blue Buff item here is really, really powerful on Cassiopeia. She is not a carry. Um, Ergo is essentially after you've got these two items, Ergo is the next carry and if you can put the sphere on Ergo to basically start sniping tanks away, very powerful. In the early game you want to be getting uh, obviously Cogmore, um, who else, and Bard to essentially accelerate your um, XP because uh, this comp is slow rolling. So what this means is uh, when you freestyle units at level 6 by rolling your access gold. Um, I'm going to be doing a guide on all these comps anyway so you know what I'm saying. Next composition we have Astro Snipers. This is the most funnest comp right now for me personally, just because it's basically like main units gotta get the monster sponsorship right there. Um really really fun comp. This is my personal favorite comp to play right now. Um so let's go over obviously you've got the new Astro which reduces the mana cost by 30. That's really really big. And then the rest is, you know, Snipers, Vanguards, Cryo, Dark Star, and Mythic again. Mythic has came back with a vengeance this patch, like it's actually so good. Obviously, for the composition, it's you know, the Spaceman, Karma, Gnar, Jin, Timo, Wukong, Lulu, and um Thresh. This comp is a fast eight comp, so by level eight, you ought to be grab it like you want to be essentially like leveled up to grab like the four to five cost units because as you can see this comp it relies on a lot of four costs which is really strong and really powerful obviously the situations we have here so you can swap out um Kayla and Ash and obviously above Ash, Jin, so forth don't know why I didn't mention that being a bit silly oh and that's the um positioning here obviously you have the people up front you have Lulu you have uh, Soraka and Lulu to obviously provide CC, you have Urgot sniping, Cassiopeia providing CC and Karma providing um, shield too. Really good. Sorry I didn't mention that. Brain dead. Um, this is the um, positioning for obviously the Astro Snipers. Obviously you want to have the tanks up front, the snipers at the back because Teemo is actually more of a carry than Jin is with his comp. Um, like, oh, team is actually distracted. Play this comp. If you want a really fun comp, play this. This is really fun to play. Really enjoyable. Um, items, obviously, you want the death cap for Teemo. You want Sphere to obviously lower it even more down. Um, for Jin, you obviously want the Hurricane. So we need to do a big blast hit that's 70% damage, but like, which is like still massive, pretty much one shots. You know what I mean? Um, Guardian Angel. So, but he gets one shot and he comes back. Um, Giant Slayer. Now, the one thing I would disagree with um, this is Frozen Heart is not essential to have on Wukong, like, at all. And this is an item I would rather, especially if I'm going to have tears, I would rather be putting this on someone else. Um, 
such as you know big boy thrash so let's go into comp number three so comp number three is cybernetic blade master obviously it's a uh, fiora lucian vein Vi, aurelia riven echo uh, fresh this is the patch notes for obviously um echo he got buffed crazily so now targets every hit like it's new slow the attack damage for enemy by 50 percent for seven seconds echo is now like a top tier like, even when he's like a two star one star very very powerful um starting mana for up to 80 cryo damage like preparate damage there's like uh it's it's really like Echo has like is really top tier. Hits every enemy once, hits everybody five, seven to twenty times. So when you calculate that in for a two star, hits every enemy like seven times. One, two, three, four. Like it's crazy buff, Echo. Crazy buff. Um obviously this comp just relies on the vein carry getting a free star it's a fast a comp still because obviously you need to get people up but if you can get your vein three star this comp is devastating um it's really really good because you have the cybernetic buff you have the blade master you have the cryo and you have the mana reaver and it's it's really really powerful obviously you have the vein with the lucian in the back and then the echo this comp mainly like works through echo one-shotting people with the magic book um and yeah, it's just like really, really powerful, really, really strong, and just a devastate. Okay, now we are into the last two comps. You've got Ripple Blade Master. This composition is fun. Oh my god, I actually love this comp. It's Zed. If you didn't know, Zed is just fun. The only issue is you'd need to basically get Blade of the Rune King for him. And if you don't, the comp don't work. Because literally you'll be missing the 6. And then instead of having a 3, 6, 7 comp, you'll need to hit the 8. And because you're a slow roller, you're going to be mainly using your gold to try and get these guys 3 stars. Because that's how this comp works. It's just having a lot of 3 stars. But the Blade of the Rune King is literally like the gains of this composition for Zed. Because he is the main carry. Um... Obviously, the comps uh, Shen, Yasuo, Zed, Master Yi in the jungle, um, Fizz, Aurelia, and Riven. A lot of people were thinking Riven's going to be a carry, but Riven is not a carry at all. Um, yeah, this comp's kind of gimmicky because it's like, oh, you only need seven units out of eight, which most comps you know need. Uh, compositions obviously Shen, Riven, Yasuo, you know, Zed, and Fizz. Now, a lot of people are going to be thinking, why don't you have this composition? Like, obviously. You know, on the front line. So why wouldn't you have Shen to, to do this like composition right here? Now it's just because a lot of comps right now do like heavily burst damage and they force positioning with these tanks. Like they all have upfront units, so you don't want that. You want their units to essentially collapse inwards, so they'll come into the Shen. So then Zed can angle and Fizz can angle, and then already can start attacking the back line, and Riven can attack like the back line too. The, that's due to this positioning here. Now the final uh, comp, the final episode of Brandon TFT Top 5 Guides. So let's uh, have a sip of monster and then uh, get into it. We have the Ziggs, we have the Blizzcrank, we have Ezreal, we have Gnar, we have Jinx, we have Soroka, we have the Spaceship, we have Lulu and Gangplank. This is a 9 cost comp composition now. This I would say is the hardest comp to play right now. But if you can get this, it is amazingly overpowered, really strong, and I'd recommend it. So for this comp, basically, it's essentially a new Rebels destruction comp. With obviously the Demoliciousness with Gangplank. And it's really, really good. Really strong. And with the Gnar being, um, what's it called, a brawler, it it just makes this comp really good and really tanky. And like the fact with like the blasters and the cryo and everything, it's just like a chaotic like, you know. And obviously the spaceship buff, fighters um, drain, uh, mana get their targets. It's really good. The positioning is obviously the tanks and gangplank is obviously when you level up, you will one shot a team. We've got the Ziggs, we've got the Jinx over here as carry. We've got Lulu and um, Ezreal and Soroka, you know, for obviously that healing needs. 
Now guys, that's the uh, obviously the end of this guide. Um, so yeah, these are the compositions. If you have missed any, I'll actually do it a bit slower. Boom, boom, hashtag roasted. But yeah, that's basically it. It's good. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe, comment, like this video. Um, also comment if you think I missed um, a comp. But I think this is a really, really fair list. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the uh, next video, which will probably be a tutorial guide for one of these comps. So if you do want to learn how to do that, subscribe as well. And uh, yeah, see you guys in the next video. Peace.